So I'm going to show you guys how to a trick that we use here at Backpack Music. Um, one way to get great mixes is we reference previously recorded songs, songs we like already know. Like I'm about to import a song. Well, I'm going to show you guys everything. How to get good mixes using a reference track. So just follow along. First thing you do is this is the song I'm, I'm about to mix pretty soon. So before I get started, I'm going to import a reference track to reference the mix up against the reference track to make everything sound good or sound up to par. So here's what I'm working on now. In my That's the song I'm mixing, so I'm going to import another song, something that's already been mastered and recorded and it's already released on the radio. That's a song I know because I know what it sounds like in the club, I know what it sounds like in the car, I know what it sounds like on an MP3 player, so I know what it's supposed to sound like. So when I bring it into the studio, I'm going to mix this new song that I'm mixing up against that to make it sound not the same, but to just get, to get the levels right. So I have a good reference point to mix from. So. Uh, first thing to do is you're gonna you have the session up in Pro Tools now I'm gonna hit shift Apple I that's gonna be import audio so if I just click on the search tab I already know what the song is so I'm gonna type the song um, another way you can do this is if you pop in a CD you can pull it directly from the CD so I just got this up right now All right, so I find this song when I see it in the browser and I click it, it's gonna show up on my window right there. And I'm gonna hit convert. That's gonna convert it to whatever sample rate the session is currently we're at 44K. So it's gonna convert that song into that. So then after you click convert, you wanna make sure that it's showing in the regions to import. And then once it's there, hit done. On that, it's gonna ask. It's gonna prompt you to choose the destination folder for that reference song. You want to make sure you're in the right folder by clicking. This is the name of the session, so I'm in the right folder. I'm actually gonna make a new folder called reference because I, I want to keep it separated from all the other other audio tracks in this session. Um, once you create that folder called reference, you can name it whatever you want, that's just what I chose to name it. Hit choose. So it's going to import the audio reference track into your session. Now, we'll just say I'm going to put it on a regions list. So if I go to my regions list by clicking this tab, it's going to open up. That's actually the regions bin. So this is the song I just imported, it's called Love King. Um, this is the, actually the instrumental to the song that we're mixing. All I'm gonna do is create a new track in Pro Tools by hitting Shift Apple N. Um, I'm gonna make it a stereo track and it's an audio track because I'm using an audio file. Hit Create. Um, and automatically the first thing I do is I'm just gonna name this audio track Reference. There it is. Next thing I do, since I already have this session, uh, there's already a template for it, so it's already structured, so I have markers. So what I can do is I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm actually gonna import the song right there to that reference point, because that's the start of the track. One, and then if I go back up here, I can click on this region, which is the reference track. It's called Love King. Hit Control, click that, drag it all the way to your reference track in Pro Tools and boom, it automatically puts it in. Um, now remember, before you do that, you have to click at the start of where you want that track to go in. So I chose to, to import it at the start of the song, which is right there, so I click there. If you see, there's a, I actually have a Pro Tools marker right there. Um, that's pretty much it. So now if you listen, I'm gonna solo this out. This is the song that I brought in.
But all I'm trying to say is you should know me like that recap again all I did was I chose a song that I know because I've heard it many times and I know what it sounds like to reference to the song I'm about to mix now the purpose of that is to you have a good starting point to make sure your mix is on the right track as far as you know low ends concerned high end and all that stuff shift apple I imported audio put it in the regions bin dragged it into the session created a new track put it in and that's pretty much it and then Start mixing.